Deer rattling is a hunting technique used to emulate the sound that antlers make when two or more bucks are sparring for dominance or mating. To achieve this effect, typically a rack of antlers are struck together with the tines or points interlocking and then rattled against each other to simulate fighting. The theory behind rattling is that when a buck hears the sound of antlers clacking together in his territory, he will come to investigate and assert his dominance if necessary. Recent studies have suggested that the hearing ability of the white-tailed deer ranges from 250 to 30,000 hertz, with the best sensitivity between 4,000 and 8,000 hertz. My name is Kurt Sussman. As a media production specialist in higher education, I was asked to do a frequency analysis of recorded audio samples taken comparing antlers of the white-tailed deer, polycarbonate synthetic white-tailed antlers, a rattle bag, the pack rack produced by Knight and Hale, and the rattle box to show what specific sounds are being produced when these different items are used in rattling. This is a visual representation of the frequency spectrum. The vertical column on the right represents the range of frequencies. The horizontal scale at the bottom represents change over time, and the color temperature represents amplitude or loudness. With real antlers, the sound ranges from 400 to 8500 hertz, and then tapers off up to 17,000. When compared to synthetic antlers, the sound starts at 500 hertz and tapers off dramatically at around 9,000 hertz. The bulk of the sound is between 2,000 and 5,000 hertz, which results in significantly less tonal variation than real antlers. With the rattle bag, the sound starts at around 1,500 hertz and then drops off dramatically at around 9,000 hertz, as evidenced by the change in color temperature producing a much more monotone sound than its real counterpart. The pack rack has a frequency response between 500 and 9,000 hertz. Like the rattle bag, most of its amplitude is in a narrow range between 500 and 4,000 hertz, again producing a more monotone sound. With the rattle box, the frequency response was between 300 and 9,000 hertz and tapered off uniformly into the 16,000 hertz range. So let's look at how these samples compare side by side. Here's a frequency display of real antlers to synthetic antlers. The bright color produced by the synthetic antlers shows more of the sound here is coming from the lower frequencies. Here's a comparison of real antlers to a rattle bag. Notice the emphasis in the lower register making a more monotone sound. Here's a display of antlers compared to a pack rack. Again, look at the emphasis in the lower frequencies. And finally, here's real antlers compared to the rattle box. As you can see, the samples are nearly identical. But let your ears be the judge. Here are some audio samples comparing these products. See if you can tell which is which. Here's antlers compared to synthetic antlers. Here's a sample of antlers compared to the rattle bag. Here we have a sample of antlers compared to the pack rack. And finally, here's antlers compared to the rattle box.
In this chart, we see the total range of effective frequency that each of these rattling items produce. You'll notice that the two most similar are the rattle box and real antlers. Similarly, in this chart you see the range of emphasis of each, or where the strongest concentration of sound lies. Like the earlier chart, this chart shows that the greatest similarity is between the rattle box and real antlers. This analysis shows that the rattle box's unique design produces the frequency range, but more importantly, the tonal variation closer to real antlers than any of the other products sampled. It's also the only product evaluated that features one-handed operation with nothing to put away and nothing to put down.